Sunset tonight marks the start of Holocaust Remembrance Day. We're getting an up-close look at how a local school commemorates such a dark moment in history. News 8's Hannah Mordeaux is live inside the school's museum to show us around. Hannah, good morning. Good morning. So we're at the Haston Hebrew Academy here in Indianapolis, and they are the only middle school and elementary school in the country to have a museum like this. It's made by students, for students, for young people. Student here this morning, Naomi Cohen, along with Trisha Berg, she helps run the museum here. There's three separate rooms. We're in the first room. So Trisha, explain, what is this museum? What room are we in? So um, this museum is a student-created interactive Holocaust museum um, that we continually update and improve every year. We created it as a resource for Indiana area schools to teach the Holocaust. Okay, so Marcus is going to kind of look at some of these exhibits as we talk to you, Naomi. So you have a family connection. Your great-grandfather is in the Holocaust. He's a part of this museum. Tell me about his story a little bit. Um, so they were born in Poland, my great-grandfather and great-uncle. Um, they made it out just in time as my great-great-grandmother did not want to leave. She thought that it would all work out. They would be able to stay in their hometown. But my great-great-grandfather decided that it was time to leave. And they got a horse, one horse and buggy, and left with four neighbors, I think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they ended up going to Russia. They were starving mm -hmm. on their way. They didn't have any food. They didn't know where they were going. Um, so in the end, my great-grandfather joined the Russian army, liberated concentration camps, and came to Israel, and then Canada and the U.S. in the end. So this museum kind of puts you in this space, in the moment of the Holocaust, what people went through. Uh, I'm going to have you, Naomi, show us this uh, train car here while Trisha talks about it, if you can. So ultimately, we wanted to make this museum interactive and immersive. So this train, uh, this car kind of replicates the cattle cars that um, people were transported on to the, uh, to the camps. So within it, we have audio. You can actually feel it like the train is actually moving, um, the vibrations of it, and to kind of give people that experience that people had. Wow. Well, thank you so much. This museum, the goal is to eventually have it be open to the public to see all these different rooms. You can see the room that we're here in now. Today, students will be lighting these candles. They each have a QR code on them that will tell a story about a child who was killed in the Holocaust to help that education continue and the importance of the day. But we'll show you around this next room coming up. If you want to take a virtual tour, we do have a link on our website right now, wishtv.com, in this story. Live in Indianapolis, Hannah Mordeaux, wishtv. Wish TV.com and follow us on Facebook.